Hi, this is John Carlini, and uh, here's another in our series of quick two to three minute guitar tips. And this one is starts out in probably the first chord that you ever learned, which is E major. Okay, everybody's favorite rock and roll chord. So uh, you probably realize that you have three E's in this chord: one on the sixth string one on the first string, those are both open, and one on the fourth string in the middle, uh, the middle E. So you have all those E's. And then the third of the chord, which you know you have to have one, three, and five out of the major scale to make a major chord. That would, the third of the E scale is G sharp, that's the first fret of the third string. And the fifth is B, that's an open B on the second string, and second fret B on the fifth string. So you have three E's, one G sharp, and two B's. Anyway, what we're talking about here are the E's. And uh, you can make this chord sound very exotic by doing one simple move. If you take that middle E on the fourth string, you paying attention out there in the audience? Uh, do you, you hear the audience? Okay. <laughs> Uh, you take that middle E on the fourth string and raise it one fret to F, like that, and you get this sound. Okay, very, that puts you in a whole other world, right? Um, that is a, it's really, it's, the, it's a flat nine. F sharp is nine, F natural is flat nine. It's not an E7 flat 9 because there's no 7th in it, but it's an E, uh, I would say E major, and then in parentheses, flat 9. And uh, you can end a tune with that sound, or you can, uh, you know, um, uh, what I sometimes do is play this chord. Before I tell you what I do with it, uh, you, it's, made, it's movable. So if you do it on G, say, you make a G major chord raise that middle G the same way, this time with your pinky, you get G exotica. That's what I like to call it. And if you move them in third, every third fret, you get a kind of an interesting sound. When you get back to E again. Um, So you can mess around with that and have a good time with it and add it to your bag of chord tricks. See you next time. Thanks.